Hey everyone, welcome to IntelliPad. In today's session, we will tell you is DevOps a good career choice. This session is conducted by a cloud expert having more than 15 plus years of industry experience. So before we move on with our live session, please subscribe to our channel. And also if you want upcoming updates, please hit the bell icon and also leave a like if you enjoy our content. Okay, so now why DevOps engineer? So this also answers why uh, DevOps engineer is the right career choice. Uh, that is what I'm trying to answer here. And uh, then I'll explain what is DevOps actually. First, I'll just tell you why exactly you should become a DevOps engineer or why exactly you should learn DevOps. First of all, job opportunities. There is an abundance of jobs in DevOps. The reason because uh, DevOps culture has been around since 2009, but in the last five years, it became really huge and lots of companies are hiring DevOps engineers uh, every single uh, day. They're, they're hiring lots of DevOps engineers, but even though they are uh, hired, there is still a need for DevOps engineers. And you can just check out Indeed or Glassdoor or any job portal. You can just go ahead and type in DevOps engineer and you would see the number of jobs popping up. The only thing which will be different is uh, a DevOps, one DevOps engineer job will, ha will ask for a set of uh, so a different set of skills another devops engineer job will ask for a different set of skills but the role would be the same the things you will be doing would be the same so the skills uh, uh, skill sets or the technologies you'll be working on will vary a little bit um, okay so one jobs abundance of jobs you can just take it right now i'm uh, i'm just taking data from uh, public job portals second salary so whatever job you're going to get into this is one of the things everyone looks into, that is the salary. If me, you, whoever it is, if a job pays you good pay, only then you shift from a job to another job. All right, so DevOps engineer, as I told you, uh, you would need a lot of skills to become a DevOps engineer, and that is actually proportionate to the salary you would be getting. If you're really skilled in lots, all of those things, then you could easily earn, this is the average salary, not the highest, not the lowest. Highest, it can go more than this. It can go up to 2.5 to 3 lakhs per annum. Sorry, not at per annum, per month. Uh, but here, it's 82, 1 lakh per, per month. And in US, it's $11,000 to $16,000 per month. Uh, again, this is the average salary, guys. It can be a little low when you start off with the DevOps career. And once you gain experience, your salary would be increasing accordingly. So also salary depends on the company, uh, type of company you are into, the type of experience you have, and the set of skills you have. So talking about the type of company, there are essentially, uh, there are multiple types of companies in the IT industry, but even though we can club them together into two different aspects, service and product. Service in the sense, they, are, uh, a, they could be consultancy companies, they could be companies who provide services for other companies, uh, who have an already existing application. Okay, so if you're working for companies like those, uh, for example, if you're in India, you might have heard of TCS, Infosys, Wipro. These companies are uh, essentially service-based companies uh, because they provide services to other companies who already have their application or already have a product in place, all right? Okay, so over there, your salary would be around four to 10 LPA. Uh, if you are in a service-based company, if you're in a product-based company, your starting salary itself will be pretty high because in a product-based company, you are developing products, which is how the company uh, generates revenue. But in a service-based company, the company generates revenue from servicing another company. But in a product-based company, the company generates revenue by selling the product which the company has. So if they're selling their product, the company wants to have their product at its best. And to keep it at its best, they would need highly skilled DevOps engineers who keep the DevOps pipeline running and intact. All right, so this is one salary uh, change. Uh, so this is the variety. So uh, okay, now coming to experience, again, according to experience also, it will vary. So you guys, every, everyone know this. Uh, the high, more experience you have, the higher the salary. Okay, so this I'm not just, I'm not going to cover because this is a pretty common point. Everyone knows this. Now, coming to who's hiring, so these are some major companies who are hiring for DevOps engineers. Uh, so you can just check out in Google Jobs or Indeed, you can just type in DevOps engineer and filter out a particular company, like for example, Amazon or Oracle, they are hiring. Uh, if you have the right skills, you can get into it. So if you don't have the right skills, do not worry, you can still learn. It's, it's, it's not uh, uh, rocket science, it's, it, if you have 
uh, basic IT knowledge at the beginning, it's pretty easy to start with it and grasp everything around it. All right, so I just want to, uh, one second guys, so the, what was third point? Introduction to DevOps. So this is what I just covered right now, why it is a good choice. So introduction to DevOps. Uh, I'll first give you what exactly it is and tell you about the services, uh, sorry, the skills required. Okay. So first of all, uh, DevOps is basically, it could be told it is a set of processes or a set of various methods. So what exactly happens, uh, what exactly is the concept of DevOps is that, uh, let's say you are in a, working in a company and you may be a developer or you may be a software tester or you may be, uh, what is that, administrator who monitors the application's logs. Uh, so these things. Uh, so you can be in any of these roles or you may be a security uh, expert or you, you may be a network engineer. So it could be anything, all right? But as a DevOps engineer, what would be your task is work with all these different teams and make sure the software development lifecycle is more automated today than yesterday. That would be your main goal. So before, if you just think uh, of this, the developer uh, writes code, they basically send it for code review. The code review is done. Developer changes whatever change has to be made. Once it is done, it is pushed for testing. The person, uh, the software tester tests it manually and automated tests both run. And once test is done, if there are any bugs, it's sent back to the developer. Again, the changes are done. Again, it's sent to the next part, which is staging. Staging in the sense, they put it in a testing environment or a staging environment and they run the application within the uh, for the company itself and they check how the application is performing and once if, if it is successfully running without any bugs they push it for uh, production all right so now uh, coming to production uh, once that is done then the monitoring cycle starts so the application which is hosted on the production environment it gets uh, monitored by another person so now it is a complete process uh, what i'm uh, saying here and the DevOps engineer's main goal is to automate this entire software development lifecycle. Basically, the development part will not be automated because it is uh, done by a developer. It won't be uh, that easy to automate. Uh, but even now, some parts of development is automated. Uh, but again, you would need a developer for it. So now, the developer would be developing the code, push it into a version control system like Git or uh, uh, Azure repos or uh, Bitbucket. And once it is pushed over there, it will be automatically retrieved. Just a quick info, guys. If you want to make a career in cloud and DevOps, then IntelliPad provides an advanced certification in cloud computing and DevOps by ENICT Academy IIT Roorkee. And it is taught by IIT Roorkee professors and industry experts. This course is designed to help you upskill and land in your dream job. Now, let's continue with the session. All right, it will be automatically retrieved by a continuous integration tool. So this tool basically is the central point or the focal point uh, of the DevOps lifecycle. All right, so wh why it is the focal point is because it will basically control the entire DevOps pipeline because it pulls the code from the version control tool, sends it to the testing environment. And once the testing is done, then it pushes it into the staging environment where uh, the application is checked and then it's pushed into the production environment. And once it is uh, pushed into production, a monitoring tool will be connected to it, which will be monitoring the logs and all the application data and send it back to the developer. And the developer will again make the changes according to the bugs which are getting generated. So now the DevOps engineer is the person who makes sure this entire process is automated. So he's like the, or he or she, or uh, so they're like basically the, uh, let's say they're not the head but they work with all different teams and make sure the complete uh, pipeline is running smoothly and also every day they make sure that one part is at least automated all right uh, okay so these are the skills required for a devops engineer i'm just gonna uh, give the skills over here uh yeah skills talking about skills uh, you would need a high level programming language it could be java c plus uh, plus python but it varies according to the job description. Uh, if you know Java, let be or C++, but learn any one high level programming language. You should be really good at Linux because 90% of servers running on cloud use Linux. 
so basically whatever company you're going to get into will use Linux and uh, and then DevOps tools like Ansible, Terraform, Docker, uh, there is uh, Git, GitHub basically, then there is Excel Deploy, uh, Nagios, ELK, there are so many different tools, there's Puppet Chef, so you would need to know a set of tools which will help you. Uh, it, it doesn't depend on uh, you, it depends on the company you're going to work for. It, they might ask for a certain tool and if you're skilled in it, it's even better. But if you're skilled in a tool which is pretty similar to it, you will be able to grasp it pretty easily. All right. Okay, then uh, one cloud tool like AWS or Azure or GCP, uh, because again, uh, cloud is really important for DevOps. Uh, because right now most companies are pushing their uh, local applications or not local applications on premise applications or their legacy applications into cloud environments so knowing that is important uh, databases that, because database is pretty common guys whatever role you are into security networking uh, administration development uh, operations whatever it, it is into i would suggest people learn sql because SQL is, a, is the most used language, I would say, because uh, whatever language you're coding in, you are going to use a relational database for the backend. You might use a no, NoSQL database too, a non-relational database, but if you're using a relational database, in that case, SQL is required. And uh, learning SQL for any role will help you, like whatever it is, it'll help you, so learn SQL. And finally, a scripting language, so scripting language is basically for automating tasks which cannot be automated using a application. So basically you can write a script which will automatically run certain commands. It will automatically take care of installing, automatically take care of uh, uh, moving or migrating your application into a production environment. All right, so basically these are necessary skills. And I hope I covered what is DevOps and how exactly DevOps works and uh, uh, what exactly does a DevOps engineer do? So these are some of the points which I wanted to talk about. All right, so as I told you, their first task is to keep the pipeline running smoothly. When you're getting into a company, that company might already have a pipeline in place, or you, if they are uh, making it or creating it from scratch, in that case, you would be creating uh, the pipeline with the existing team. So whatever it is, you should make sure the pipeline is running smoothly uh, because the application development depends on it because the DevOps culture is basically releasing new updates every single day. So if, if you notice this, uh, recently most applications, most mobile applications, because we notice mobile applications more, uh, you would see they get constant updates. Some applications even get updates every single day. So they are shifting to a DevOps culture because they are releasing smaller updates uh, frequently. So that makes, uh, that shows the customer that the company is actually working on the application every single day and trying to improve the application. So this is why DevOps is important. An interaction with other teams, uh, this as I told you as a DevOps engineer, you will be working with so many different disciplines and you would have to do that. Work on the automation backlog. So as I told you, you would be automating the tasks which are manual right now and which will help the uh, company all right and then infrastructure management um yeah so this is basically again uh, a, a cloud but you won't be doing the complete infrastructure management because it will be done by the cloud team you would be guiding them uh, dealing with legacy stuff uh, legacy applications which are in place to move to a cloud environment which has to be set into a uh, a pipeline so that would basically be the legacy part you would have to do that then the last two points training and self-development is for every single job role uh, yeah documentation is really important for devops engineer or any it or uh, like jobs like this because there will be constant changes in the application in that case you should document every single part of it because let's say in the future, if one update has a certain problem and you want to roll back to your previous version, in that case, you should have all the necessary uh, docs, you should have all the necessary uh, commands and instructions to roll back. So documentation is really important. So uh, thank you so much, guys. Just a quick info, guys. If you want to make a career in cloud and DevOps, then IntelliPad provides an advanced certification in cloud computing and DevOps by ENICT Academy IIT Roorkee and it is taught by IIT Roorkee professors and industry experts. This course is designed to help you upskill and land in your dream job. 
So guys, we have come to the end of our session. I hope you all enjoyed it. For any questions that you have related to coding, you can mention it in the comment sections below. So thank you so much for attending this session and meet you in another session.